hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to Archangel's Fall. In the last episode, we spent most of our time trying to get a furnace. Hello, Creeper. Where do you come from? Um, we spent most of our time trying to get a furnace because all of our stuff needed to be repaired. And yeah, um, we finally did get one. We explored around here a little bit, but... Uh, we still have a lot of things to explore up on this mountaintop with all the vampires. Uh, so that's what we're going to continue doing today. We're going to try to finish out this like courtyard area um, before going into the actual castle. So, um, yeah, we have more stuff to go explore. There is some random mobs sitting around, but for the most part, uh, we shouldn't have... I was blocking. Uh, we shouldn't have too many like spawners left to find, but we're gonna try to clear out this area best we can. There is a lot more spawners that way. Uh, did I get the one? There is a lot of skeletons out here. Um. Spider. That sheep made the zombie look like he was wearing pants. Um, for the record, <laughs> the the zombie over there was kind of weird. But I have this like tower thing. I haven't really encountered too much stuff. I like how the trees are like windswept, so they're growing crooked. Um. Ah, uh, there is a spawner. It's on the other side. Okay. So, phantoms are kind of awful, but at the same time, shouldn't be too bad to take care of. Uh, if they ever want to come down here so I can hit them with my sword. And maybe... We can just snipe him out of the air. I do need to kind of save my arrows. I don't have that many arrows. I also need to pay attention to my food. I am so bad about that. Uh, anytime they want to come over here. The spawner for these guys is on the other side of this tower. And that did not work, but that did. All right, so I believe it's on the other side of this tower. Yeah, let's just pillar up and break it. Uh, let's actually pillar up all the way and see if there's anything up here. Because I can't tell from below. There is not. Uh, there is a chest literally right there. And an Enderman. But the Enderman is less important. Um, we're going to ignore him. So. Uh, I don't believe there is anything here. I want to make the gravel fall. Because I want to make the gravel fall. Uh, Alright. This side I think we cleared. Uh... There was a chest on the other side of this wall. I believe we got everything out of it. Yes. Uh, and definitely, we need to explore more. There's another obsidian patch. I think I pointed that out last episode. Uh, and at this point, we just need to kind of come over here. A new shield. That's good. Um, our shield is really good, though, because it has max health. But this has thorns and unbreaking. So we could always combine them. And was that the chest I saw? Yes. Uh, Legionnaires. These guys are kind of awful. So let's get rid of his spawner. Yes, he can give us iron armor, but I don't care. That creeper came out of nowhere. Luckily, we have a shield. 
Uh, then there's spider. There's a lot of mobs around here. A lot of things are spawning up here. Alright, so... To refresh torches. We are running a little low on arrows, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's get back up on the wall. And continue just... Going along here. Um... Do I see any more spawners in this area? There's probably something there, but we're going to try to get to these guys. And it's another phantom spawner. And another legionnaire spawner. With two of them this time. Uh, okay. So I guess let's take care of these guys first. Well, they know they can't use a shield with their bow. And Wither Skeleton. I hear you. Alright. There we go. More phantoms. There is a lot of stuff spawning all at once. And I think the other legionnaire got... Um, carried away by the river. We need to get somewhere a little bit safer for these uh, phantoms. I had to think of what they were called. <laughs> um, and yeah, so there's a bunch of phantom spawners. There's a couple of them at least. There they are over there. They're just kind of hanging around. Um a creeper over there this is cleared out yes so we definitely need to continue going along this wall there is a spawner there and a spawner somewhere in this tower I think for the phantoms if they ever want to pay attention to me again okay let's just get back up on the wall and see what we can do about this we're probably gonna have to activate the spawner and then, yeah, the spawners right on the other side of those stairs. They just do not care about me anymore. All right, let's just get in the corner. And there we go. Uh, that... Phantom sounded like it was attacking, but apparently not. There we go. Please don't spawn anymore, though. Phantoms are really annoying. <laughs> because they are flying and they're hard to hit. They're, they're just kind of awful. Oh. I am the best at dealing with these guys. So... The other spawner is there, but there is a lot of spawners in there. Um, okay, the fire should help. Is it enough? No, it's not quite enough. And they are very quickly taking all of my blood. Um, there we go. Two hits, we'll kill them with our sword. So I wonder if we could have gotten away with, if we, uh, if we cr was able to crit one. Alright, let's get this spawner. Alright, there is a lot of spawners around here, but there's treasure. Let's just get rid of this one. And we have the master zombie, the zo vampire master zombie, the vampire growler. Um, these guys are not too scary. I thought they were evokers. They do have some decent knockback, though. Okay. Not too terrible. 
our armor is holding up well. So let's get in here. There is just some normal vampires over here. And then a skeleton is shooting at me. What kind of skeleton? I don't know. But this kind of skeleton we need to deal with. Alright, all things considered, not too terrible. Um, Phantom spawner here. I don't know if we'll be able to get up to it in time. Cool. I like it when these don't spawn. <laughs> it's nice. And there is another spawner uh, right on the other side of this wall. So that's a cow. I was like, what is that? Uh, yeah, there's a spawner right there. Another phantom spawner. Do not spawn, please. All right, so I think... I mean, there's still a skeleton. Spawner. Because uh, there's a skeleton there. But I think this tower is cleared. There is a... Um, chest at the top of this tower, which I assume is hollow. Okay, uh, let's get up there. And I think more steak. I will gladly take it. Uh, I think. That is pretty much all we need to do in this area. Um, so I guess since it's relatively safe here, it would be easier to jump from that side. That is a floating block of gravel. There's a lot of those in this area. Ooh. Big cave. I wonder if that is the... Um, kind of jungly forested area that we saw from down below um because i believe we're like right above it so that might be the entrance yeah that's probably the entrance to that uh that's kind of neat so you could look up here if you can get above the canopy um and see all that mm -hmm. stuff um but let's real quick uh i guess the red guy we're just going to dump all this stuff in here. We don't really need any of it right now. Uh, the coal is probably the only thing that's super useful. Uh, and that's just because we need more torches. But there is the chest in here. And then I want to explore the obsidian. That's probably another marker. I don't trust this, especially because of that. Um, we're gonna dig around. Okay. Ooh, a diamond sword. A vorpal cutter. Sweeping edge five. Now that is good. Okay. So we have a diamond sword. Now it is slightly weaker than what we currently have, but um, we should be able to make that even better uh, with some books. All right, um, there's another phantom spawner. Let's go ahead and take that out. There's a lot of spawners, actually. Please do not spawn your phantoms. Um, there is a spawner right there, probably legionnaires. Yep. Uh, but for the most part, that is just the entrance to the castle. We have some redstone du dust. The Tormentor, uncommon item. 
So we currently have a punch three, power three, unbreaking three. That's power three, knockback two. Okay. Uh, so the knockback two is for actually like punching with it and then flame. So there is two spawners there, spawner there, spawner there. And one of these guys decided to spawn. So let's get away. There is a lot of guys here. Let's retreat. Um, please. Ooh, you've messed up now. Okay, maybe not. But we have a carrot. And... Please. Let's just come over here. Put some torches down. And retreat. Um, there's a lot of creepers around. Okay. So we have some friends to deal with. And I think there's just a few more spawners over here. Not too bad. We've, uh, we've lighted up a lot of them. And I don't really mind Wither Skeletons. Wither Skeletons are actually not too scary if they're unmodified. It's just a matter of knowing about them. Like Creepers. Creepers are the easiest things in the world to deal with if you know about them. It's the Creeper you don't know about that's awful. Or the lag spike that ruins your day. Okay. Come on over here. Okay, you're going to shoot above me, I think. Or not. Um, that was a good shot. Alright, so let's get over here. Let's break this spawner. Let's break the zombie spawner, because I don't think I ever did that. And, yeah, it's still, still here. There's also a chest here. With more steak. And more, more stuff. Uh, there's a also a lot of gravel there, which I don't know if that means anything. Uh, but let's go ahead and do some maneuvering of stuff. We got an iron chest plate. That's kind of cool. Don't really care about the bow, I'll be honest. The bow is mediocre in my eyes. But, um, ooh, our sword is about to die. Okay, let's go over here and investigate the obsidian. There should be a shard or something. Yeah, there's always a shard. And I don't know how many of these there are actually, like, lying around this map. Um, you only need, I mean, you need, what, 12? Gosh, I never remember how many. You need 12 obsidian to make a portal, um, but you need 14 to make a full portal. So there's a ton of iron there, for the record. Uh, so we're going to go back to our tree. And I want to see if we can make a really good sword. Um, I think this is our first piece of diamond equipment. And so I definitely don't want to be blown up by a creeper. But I also really would like to, to make it good. And we have some enchanted books. So if we have like a sharpness or at the very least on breaking, uh, it might be good to to use this guy. So um, let's go ahead and put down some shulker boxes. Uh, and also make sure that the creeper didn't follow us. I don't know where he's at, but I don't hear him. All right, so we have a lot of food. We do need some more torches, so we'll get some of that going. And cool. Um, 
We have an extra shield. That's nice. Uh, we'll put that in there. And let's see. The green box has obsidian shards. Yeah, we've already gotten three just from, like, hanging out up here. Uh, but we have unbreaking, mending. We could potentially put both of those on this guy. I mean, it's not like we don't have levels. So we just need a sharpness now. Uh, and I think what we'll go ahead and do... Uh, put these back away. And honestly, we'll, we'll grab a, the javelin, the prismarine javelin, a.k.a. just a, just a trident. Uh, and we'll use that for any sort of, like... Oh, backup. Um, so... Not too bad. Let's now make sure that there's nothing else in the red one that we really care about. No, not really. Okay. So we definitely have extra stuff that we can use. Um, but eventually we'll get this sword being really good. Um, it's going to be slightly weaker than our uh, last swords, especially without the flame. But the um, sweeping edge is really good, and it has mending on it, so that should make it never disappear. Um, theoretically, anyways. With as many spawners as we break, it should always stay repaired. So, um, let's jump back into it, and we'll try to finish up a little bit of this area before we end the episode. Um, I want to just clear out the rest of the spawners leading up to the castle because the castle is clearly where we need to go and spawner i hear you i didn't know where you were but i heard you there is a ton of iron down here all right more more guys hi you thought you snuck up on me. You almost did, to be perfectly honest, but... Legionnaires. And vampires. Uh, man, I like having a diamond sword. It is nice. So, the question is, what's the master vampire going to be? And if I had to guess, it's probably going to be a evoker or something like that but maybe it's all going to be zombies how see these guys are easy if you know where they are and apparently i broke the spawner already um hopefully that wasn't a bug hopefully it's not still there and just invisible but uh this is where we're going to go in the next episode we have a castle spooky castle to complete and then there's a chest down there. I am going to go grab that chest. There's also a spawner on the top of that, like, mountain. There's always something up waterfalls. Always, always, always. We haven't been down there. Interesting. So what do we have? More steak and more golden apples. I will gladly take that. All right. So that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, we've made progress. The courtyard is clear. We can now attack the vampire's uh, forbidden castle, Castlevania, whatever you want to say. Um, but we definitely, definitely know where we're going. Um, so that is going to be the plan for next episode. And we'll see how it goes. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.